Hey, what's up, Wolfpack? Today is January 22nd, and I'm Giovanna Menes. And I'm Ken Passio, and we're here with your distance learning announcements. It's Friday once again, so let's see what we have for Pop with Kaylee. What's poppin' Wolfpack? I'm Paul Spulo, and this is Pop, where we pop in and show you posts of the pack. Even though we're all stuck at home, remember to use our hashtag, CHSWPTV, for a chance to be in our show next week. Now let's check out our Wolf of the Week, Madeline Steele. My name is Madeline Steele, and I am your Wolf of the Week. Some things I like to do are taking um, ballet classes and dancing. I love getting to perform in the Nutcracker every year. It's a tradition that my family and I do. Um, I love getting to travel all over the United States with my friends and compete at baton twirling competitions. I, um, I love creating artwork and drawing, especially digitally on Photoshop. And I love getting to go to youth group with my friends. My favorite memory from CO is getting to twirl with the marching band at the football games last year. I had so much fun getting to go on the field and represent our school and our football team. Everyone was so supportive, the crowd, uh, my friends, the band directors, the cheerleaders, everyone was cheering us on and it was just so much fun. Because we've had to do distance learning, I didn't have the opportunity to perform with the marching band at football games or parades. Um, I didn't get to do the talent show or go to any school events like the rallies or the homecoming dances or um, senior ball. Um, I didn't get to see all my friends in class and meet my teachers in person. So after I graduate, I plan on going to CRC or a junior college and transferring to a four-year like UC Davis or somewhere that's close. Um, I don't plan on traveling very far and I'm not sure what I want to major in yet, but I know it's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you, Madeline. Good luck with the rest of the year. Well, that's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Paula Sabulo. Back to the Anchors. Thanks, Kaylee. Now we have sports with John. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm John Sheehan, back at it again with your weekly sports update. Don't got a ton for you this week, but let's jump right into it. NBC Sports Network is shutting down at the end of the year. What does this mean for NHL? Nobody knows yet. CIF, the California Interscholastic Federation, states that athletes in some sports may have to wear masks during competition and some may not. Will this increase the count of COVID cases is the very big question. Hank Aaron, the baseball home run king and all-time legend, died today at 86 years old. He was one of the greatest baseball players to ever play and he was one of the few superstars that also played in the Negro Leagues. UFC releases Ottoman Azatar day before UFC 257 for sneaking people into Fight Island. Dana White, president of the UFC, pulled Azatar from the fight and removed him from the UFC roster for good. Lastly, Joe Biden's executive order may have just ended girls' sports forever. Biden's executive order on preventing and combating discrimination on the basis of gender identity or sexual orientation begins by stating that, quote, all persons should receive equal treatment under the law no matter their gender identity or sexual orientation, end quote. That's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm John Sheehan, and this has been your weekly sports update. And that's all we have for this week, Wolfpack. Remember, the strength of the pack is a wolf. And the strength of the wolf is a pack.